Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh. This is Native Nomads, and today I'm going to explain the step-by-step -step process of how you can take your AC200 Max from Blue Eddy and turn it into a complete power system for your camper van. Before we get started today, I want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video and every video that you will see right here on the channel, and that is Adventure Rig Shop. AdventureRigShop.com is where you can find this complete power system setup, as well as just about anything you need for your camper van conversion. Okay, so now let's talk power. If you're like me and you're converting a Sprinter van or you've already converted a Sprinter van, you know that the electrical system is one of the most expensive components that you're going to run into in the biggest piece of the puzzle for your camper van conversion. Well, I was on the internet, on YouTube, and I found videos that are similar to this, but they didn't show me the step-by-step -step process that I needed to take in order to get the power from my AC200 Max into a distribution system and send it to my entire van. Well, today I wanna to show you exactly how to do that because it's very simple. And everything that you get from Blue Eddy or from Adventure Rig Shop when you purchase the Van Life Bundle, which is the AC200 Max, as well as the B300, you have everything you need in the box already to make this happen. You do need a couple of other components, but those are really easy to find, and I will put links in the description for those components as well if you wanna purchase everything at once. But just for starters, the AC200 Max has a 2200 watt inverter already installed in it, which means you have 2200 watts of AC power. But for this system, you're not going to need AC power whatsoever because this little guy right up here, this little cord that's plugged in that comes with your power system is 30 amps of power. This is an aviation plug that plugs directly into the DC port on your Blue Eddy AC200 Max, and it sends power from this aviation plug to your Blue C component um, fuse box and I already have this hooked up because it's important that I don't have to try to do this while I'm on camera But very simply this is a six gang Fuse panel now they have 12 gang and the 12 gang fuse panel is what I use in my sprinter van because it has more Slots for me to add components This was laying around the garage and because I had it in my hand quickly and I didn't have to disassemble my entire sprinter van I thought well, this would be a good place to start The only difference between the six gang fuse panel and the 12 gang fuse panel is you can control More components with the 12 gang than you can the six gang. So let's talk the aviation plug Here is the aviation plug and I don't know how well you can see or if you can see it with me in the picture but it has two pins that go directly into the two slots on your AC200 Max. You connect this together, you spin this down, it's just got a little head on it, and it locks it in there. That's done. You don't have to touch it now. But this aviation plug does not come modified the way that I have it modified. It has a different um, end on it. So what you have to do is very easy, is you just cut cut your aviation plug. I left as much length on my aviation plug as I possibly could. I cut the end of it. I stripped this wire back. I don't know if you can see that very well, but I stripped the wire back and crimped on two other wires. And these two wires are 12 gauge. I got a 12 gauge positive, a 12 gauge negative that is connected to the 12 gauge positive and the 12 gauge negative of your aviation plug, super simple. Then you go down to the blue C component fuse panel. And I put, I would always recommend using these heat shrink type of connectors because they just take a beating and you don't have to worry about them rattling out um, or coming loose over time. The ones that you just crimp together and then you put some type of black heat shrink over top of it, I haven't had the best experience with those, and I don't want to have to mess with my uh, electrical system and my camper van and my Sprinter when I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I want to kind of set it and forget it, and that's what those these type of crimp crimps will allow you to do. 
So your power goes on the bottom and the power, your negative, goes on the top on the negative terminal. Once those are connected, you have, on this one, you have six power outlets and then you have six negatives. You simply put your power into your power, your negative into your negative, and then you connect your wires to whatever component. If it's a light, I would recommend using a smaller gauge wire because those DC powered lights do not require very much power whatsoever. Now, if you're powering your fan and depending upon the distance of how far your fan or your component is from your fuse box because you do lose power the further the distance. So you may need to up the gauge and wire. I'm not trying to make it difficult. I'm just saying you need to do some research on that depending upon how far away or how many feet your component is from your fu fuse box. Once you have your power connected and you have your, your ground connected and this is connected to your AC 200 Max via the aviation plug and you turn it on all you do simply press this turn your dc on just like that your dc is on and it is pushing 30 amps to this now it's not pushing 30 amps all the time but it has the ability to push 30 amps so this fuse box can pull 30 amps from this aviation plug now let's say you wanted to have a smaller system Maybe you do not need 30 amps and you're only running a couple of lights off of this. I don't know why that would be the case, but I'm just going over it. There is another 10 amp slot up above the 30 amp slot. And it very clearly states which one is which. It says 12V DC 30A. And then it says 12V DC 10A. The top one is your 10 amp slot. And you can use a cigarette lighter adapter that comes with your Blue Eddy system. You can plug it into there. You can do this exact same thing where you cut the wires, connect a power and a ground, crimp connectors to your power and ground on your Blue C systems controller. Positive, negative, fuse. Oh, sorry. Positive, negative, fuse, and it will send power throughout. There may be a reason why you only need 10 amps, and if you only need 10 amps, you can do that through the cigarette lighter outlet. I do it through the 30 amp outlet because I run my entire van, everything I have, through that 30 amp connection. Now, everything in my van is DC. My lights are DC. My fan is DC. My um, heater is DC. I do not have an air conditioner inside my van. Now, one question that you may ask, well, what if I need AC power? And if you're not familiar with this unit, it does have an AC, a 2,000, 2,200 watt inverter in it, as well as four AC outlets. So if you absolutely need AC power, you can plug directly into the AC 200 max and you can power whatever devices that you need through the AC outlets. But the reality is almost everything you buy and everything you have can be run off a of DC. I have an AC outlet inside my van. It's ran through a separate inverter off of my spare battery that is underneath my passenger seat. I'm not gonna go into the weeds on that setup. If you'd like to see a full video about my particular setup, I will put that right here for you to go check out. It's like 30 minutes long, super detailed. I tried to do my best to explain the way my system works. Um, it was a little bit difficult, but a lot of people have watched that video and I think it may be helpful for you if you wanna go that route or you have more questions that maybe I'm not answering today. But this AC 200 Max with a 2200 watt inverter is enough. And if you're running DC to everything, your uh, MacBook, my MacBook, your laptop charges off of DC. It doesn't charge off AC. It comes out of the wall, converts into DC, and then charges your, com your computer. So that little box that you plug into the wall is actually a converter that converts the AC power into DC, so there's a power loss there, and then it charges your, your computer or it charges your phone. And the only reason those little bricks are available is because in the United States, we use a traditional wall outlet. And if you're in a house, you don't have access to a bunch of DC power, you have a bunch of access to AC power. So you have to be able to convert that AC to DC and then charge your, charge your device. Well, I have just small little um, 
DC ports all over my van where I can plug my charger directly into a regular USB-C outlet and it'll charge my computer, it'll charge my phone, it'll charge our tablets. There's no need for me to have AC power. There is nothing that I use inside my van at all that requires me to use AC. I can use everything DC and the power consumption is more efficient because there is no conversion taking place through the inverter. So one last time, just to sum all of this up, because I wanna make sure I have nailed every single talking point that I feel is important. First of all, if you purchase the AC200 Max um, from Adventure Rig Shop or Blue Eddy, the link is in the description if you're interested in going this route. Everything that you need to get to the fuse box already comes with it. So you do not need to purchase anything else. If you're purchasing the B300, which is the bottom battery bank here, the power cable that connects these two units together comes with it. So you don't need to purchase anything additional. What you will need to purchase, which is also in the description, you can either get the six gang or you can get the 12 gang fuse block from Blue Sea Components. It's an Amazon link that I'm gonna put in the description. They're like 30 or 40 bucks. And this is how you take the power out of your blue eddy and you run it to your entire van now fuses you will need to get some blade fuses and you will need to do a little bit of research on how much everything all of your components require um, but on your aviation plug the aviation plug comes with the blue eddy power system the ac 200 max you cut the end off you put two 12 gauge wires put them together crimp them shrink uh, heat shrink them together, that's connected. You connect your power in your ground, power goes to the bottom, ground goes to the top. You now have power to this fuse box. Your power goes into the power outlet right here. You ground it up top, you run it directly to your component. It is now powered through this. Now, if you gotta run it to a switch or you have to do some other things, there are more steps in the process, but it hasn't, the steps in the process are about how you're getting power to your switch. So you're running power to your switch versus running power directly to your light. If you have those little DC push button lights, you just run the power directly to the light itself. That's not what I'm talking about today. That's too deep. I'm not trying to get that deep. I'm already deeper than I wanna be, but this little unit coupled with this is around $5,000. Or you can buy a $15,000 all-in-one power system from several companies out there right now that make those power systems. Yes, they're probably more robust and they can handle more items and they can charge more ways faster. But for $10,000, when I'm already spending who knows how much on a, a Sprinter conversion, I want to be as economically thoughtful as I possibly can. And this was a way for us to do that. And you can do it too, very simply by following the instructions in this video. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button, share it with somebody, subscribe so you can come along for all of our adventures. We would love to have you and we will see you guys on the next one.